Hello, and welcome to another episode of This Is My Architecture. Today we'll be talking about how Nike powers a number of its applications using a social graph that they built with Amazon Neptune. I'm joined by Mark from Nike. Mark, welcome. Thanks for having me. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your engineering team does at Nike? Yeah, of course. Uh, I own the Nike social team, and we're responsible for the social graph within the Nike ecosystem. It has wide-ranging applications all the way from the front end side of the house, like the Nike app, as well as the NRC and NTC. People might be familiar with that. As well as uh, the analytics side, which is basically happening in the Data Lake. So your team is chartered with building the relationships of the users and the interests that link to them. Yeah, so why don't we talk about an example. So in the Nike app, for example, as the user onboards, they will be presented with a bunch of tiles that have different sports. Uh, let's say basketball, tennis, and then they select uh, from those as many as they like, whatever they're interested in. And then we collect this data. This data basically flows into our API gateway. And then from there, uh, we use a Lambda to siphon the data off. And then it's really just our intake funnel. There isn't a lot of business logic that's happening okay. at that layer. Uh, from there, we then go into uh, our ELB load balancer. And because we need resiliency and uh, high availability, sure. Nike is a global brand, lots of users simultaneously, uh, we then use uh, auto balanced, uh, oh, sorry, auto scaled uh, ELB, sorry, <laughs> EC2s. Uh, and then the data store, obviously, what we're talking about is Neptune. Um, so everything is basically an ARB model where A can be any sort of entity having a relationship with another entity B. Uh, in this case, it's, you know, Mark has an interest in tennis. But this also has other applications, like uh, Mark wants to be friends with another person within the ecosystem, right? The same model applies. Okay, so let's, let's double click down on kind of the EC2 uh, auto scaling instances here. Are they in charge with actually writing to the graph databases themselves? Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Okay, and this, are these synchronous and asynchronous writes that are happening to a cluster, a couple clusters of Amazon Neptune? Uh, yeah, we do have a couple of clusters, again, just because of the load that we need to, uh, need to bear. Uh, we have one writer node and then two reader nodes, and that basically keeps everything running smoothly. Okay, great. Now, it sounds like we have a simple notification service that's sitting here, so I'm assuming that there's some type of teams, maybe yep. internally, that are subscribing to some topics. Can you tell us a little bit about when a write happens uh, to Amazon Neptune based on the user's preferences or the profile you're building out of their interests? Who's seeing that? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, we have multiple internal consumers, other Nike teams that need to know about these signals as users are uh, uh, basically telling us that they're interested in a particular uh, sport. So the way we do that is that um, we call SNS, and then SNS has m multiple subscribers. One of them is the data lake right here, but then we also call CDS, which is essentially our internal, uh, excuse my handwriting, CDS, which is our internal uh, notification system, okay. uh, because they act upon all these signals, and SNS is a nice way to do that, because you can have multiple subscribers all listening to the same topic. So the teams are being notified via a topic of any types of changes that are being made, and then they're going ahead and taking action to help curate the content that the end user would essentially see. Yeah, so this is all about personalization. Uh, essentially, uh, if you're interested you know, in tennis, then uh, what you should see in the feed is more tennis-related content, so mm -hmm. it's really personalized to you. So the more the end consumer tells us about, hey, this is what I'm interested in, that's not so much kind of thing, uh, we can really gear the content towards what they really want to see when they come back and give them a better experience. I love the, the you know, enhancing the experience overall. And when I think of Nike, I think of a global brand and application usage Absolutely. probably everywhere. Talk to us a little bit about the scale. Yeah, scale is uh, quite large. Uh, as you mentioned, Nike is a global brand. Uh, we have hundreds of millions of users around the globe. Uh, all using the system. Uh, we have 125 million user relationships stored for about 25 million users because they're interested in more than one thing, right? Um, 
So that's sort of the scale that we're talking about. And it needs to be a 24 by 7 system. There's really no good downtime because it's used around the globe 24 7. Sure. So highly available, secure application that's built out at scale on top of AWS infrastructure. Uh, one last thing I'd like to touch on is just the overall social graph aspect of it. Um, being able to really have the ability to uh, understand the relationships leveraging a purpose-built database versus a key value store. Can you right. tell us a little bit about how uh, you guys have evolved the architecture over time? Absolutely, yeah. When we first built the system, it was really uh, the data store with uh, Apache Cassandra. And uh, while we made that work, it's not really geared towards this domain particularly. Right. Uh, we made ARB work, but um, the, the Neptune uh, graph was really the right solution. Uh, secondarily, when we used uh, Cassandra, we had a lot of um, maintenance overhead just because it was EC2 based and every time we needed to roll containers, you can only do one at a time. Right. If you have a large ring, uh, that becomes very maintenance heavy. So we were looking for a solution that was managed for us so we can just worry about the business logic and not so much the mechanics of the database itself. And I think another technical benefit was the ability to just query once versus using a key value store where you really have, if the relationship's not directly stored, so you have to query multiple tables at the same time. Yeah, the, uh, the model was uh, slightly more complicated on the Cassandra side, so we were able to simplify it. And again, the engine of the graph really helps with those types of queries just because that's exactly what it's built for. Very cool. Nike's social graph at scale. Thanks a lot, Mark. You're very welcome. And thank you for joining us on This Is My Architecture.